Hey everybody, I'm very excited to introduce you to my brand new 2021 M2 competition. Um, just like with the F30 platform where I've done a lot to it and shared a lot with you guys, I'm really looking forward to doing a lot more projects with this guy and also sharing those with you. Now later today I'm going to be dropping off the M2 at my detailers for uh, paint protection film, ceramic coating, and tinting. Which is why you see all of this track wrap on the car to make sure that it survived the trip home completely unscathed. But the other thing my detailer asked me to do is he asked me to remove these amber front reflectors because I'm going to re be replacing them with these IND reflector deletes. Now you can see in my wagon I've actually done the exact same modification and it was one of the first things I did. Um, but compared to the F30, doing this on the F87 is a breeze. And if we look at you know, where the reflector is located on the F30, well, you've got this camera from the side uh, camera module in the way. Uh, so you know you have to work around that and additionally because there's a camera module here Well, obviously that means the fender liner um, Is on the outside of that to protect it So additionally with the F30 you have to like kind of maneuver and take out the fender liner a little bit On the F87 M2 you can see that the reflector is right up pretty much against the edge of the fender here Which means you can have almost full access to the back side of it uh, There's no you know electronics modules in the way and you don't need to like pull the fender liner or the wheel well liner back at all either. One thing you will want to do though is you will want to tilt the wheel inwards to give yourself some, a little bit more working room and you can see that I've already done that here. Additionally there is one 8 millimeter screw here that you'll want to take out just so that the fender liner itself can flex a little bit better there as you're pulling the top of the reflector out. So if we look at the replacement delete piece, you can kind of see what our strategy is going to be. We're going to want to, you know, loosen up all of the uh, adhesive on this inside edge, pull this away, and then we're going to slowly pu push this in and then rock it out. So we want to go ahead and use a tool to loosen up all the adhesive here, which will allow us to bend this in, and then we can do the same over on this front leading edge. Now one thing that can help is using a heat gun or a hair dryer just to kind of uh, loosen up the adhesive a little bit. So I'm going to set my heat gun on low. I'm going to kind of you know, focus the area around here where I want to start prying and maybe also shoot some air behind here to get the back side of it all warmed up. Now I'm going to start pushing in on the bottom here and, and also pulling away and from the uh, pulling away the body from this guy. So I'm pushing down here and using my fingers back here to kind of pull away. You can see it start to give already. We don't need to do a lot of it, just get a little bit of a gap. So you can see that coming apart right there. And once we're able to do that, then we can go ahead and take something like a little plastic trim tool from the back side and wedge it in there to give it more leverage and really pull that away from uh, from the front. So you can see here, I've managed to get my trim tool in and I'm just going to slowly work, work it up here and just scrape away all of that adhesive. Next I'll take the trim tool and I'll work the bottom once again separating the reflector from the outer body and we'll go ahead and do the top and then lastly I can work along this front edge here may need to pry it a little bit pull away from the body and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pulling the reflector out this way so if you take, see my uh, delete piece here, I'm going to be trying to rotate the bottom out like so. There we go. Out comes the old reflector, just like that. 
Now, if you're installing the deletes right away, well, what you'd do is you would, you know, peel this off to expose the uh, double-sided tape, and then you'd slide this in and install it just like that. Um, I would start with the top side because there's less flexibility in the material here. So get this started and then rock it in and then do the bottom. Um, this leading edge does fall a little bit behind the uh, wheel well liner, uh, which is why you saw the way I took it out is I kind of pushed this assembly back um, so that everything was accessible without having to peel back the wheel liner. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, there you go. Don't forget to put your uh, eight millimeter screw back in for the uh, wheel well liner and then this just has to be snug hand tight. So there you go. That's how to remove the amber front reflectors in your F87 M2 to uh, install deletes. Massively easier than the F30s.